have no need to fight tonight, tonight. Last name ever, first name greatest. Like a sprained ankle, boy, I ain't nothing to play with. Started off local, but thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name basis. In your city, faded off the brown. Nino, she insists she got more class. Alrighty, guys, so we've been sitting all morning. Um, just been a little bit too rainy for me to pull out the GoPro. I don't want to risk it, even though it is waterproof. We have a nice trail here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's kind of dull here. From this hog site, there's a cornfield. Timber to cornfield locations are the best. Or timber to timber. Using a homemade chub bait that I made. On the next one. Alrighty guys, in about 10-15 yards from the other one, we got another DP. Raccoons through here. We dumped all of our DPs into this spot through here trying to help this guy. You might be able to tell this trail a little bit better, but it's a pretty gosh darn good one. Um, I'm sure we'll catch quite a few off of this one and that other one that I just set. Alrighty, that's all it is. Just throwing my homemade fish fee. Works great for me too. Alrighty, see you next one. Alrighty guys, so another DP location here. We got den trees all around the cattle lot across the road cat a lot um some old buildings a lot of good uh cover for the raccoons then right there is that cornfield so you know they're going to that your best like i said earlier your best locations are timber to corn timber to timber um when the fields are out there's not going to be that many raccoons i mean you might be able to catch one or two but those hot spots when the corns are when the corn is out, some timber to corn locations and timber to timber. So, alrighty. Oh, we don't need to go. Alrighty, alrighty guys. So we got. We need to put a couple back in here and set a couple. So, just gonna lay this DP right here. By this tree. I'll come back and set that one. See, they've been scratching right here, so pretty good spot. Just gonna pound these. The only raccoons we've caught right outside this house the last couple years have been extra large. You know, monsters so hopefully we can keep that rolling okay this is a little bit touchy brand new okay stick it right in the middle of the trail we got fish bait down in there Grab this and that stick we just pulled out. Got another one not far at all away from it. I'm a little bit tough. Yep, got an old house right here. On the front porch, just pooping. So, gotta get rid of them here. I've never seen a raccoon problem this bad in my life through this stretch of area. And we've been trapping this for a couple years now. So, I think we've caught a total of 51 raccoons through this stretch the last uh, two, two years. Yep, you heard that right, 45, 50, because there are a lot. Last year, they kind of outsmarted us, we had to snare them. I 
have any for pocket sets. Jeez Louise, I need to start using cat food. All right, guys, see you at the next one. All right, guys, at a coyote location. Big time timber here, uh, big time hills, big time everything. Uh -oh. There are bobcats running through here, kind of frightens me. I'm not necessarily scared of them, it's just I don't want to catch them uh, because they're a hassle to let go or take care of. Unless you catch them in 220, but we haven't done that ever. We've only caught them on coyote trails. Now, just almost at this spot, but just right down there where that pole is, there's bobcats running down that trail, raccoon trail. So if we did, if we were able to catch bobcats here in this part of Iowa, we would set it, but we don't have a tag, so it kind of sucks. Alrighty, I'll see you at the next one. Alrighty guys, I know the coyote location. Um, about 20 yards where I just put the other one. Uh, ooh, there's a good trail going up through there, but probably a raccoon. Um, ooh, slippery mud. Kind of sucks right now, but It'll help with the water situation. Although we're setting a creek tomorrow that might be flooded now. The beaver had it all dammed up. It was about half a foot from being flooded. And after all the rain we've gotten the last two days, it's definitely flooded. So that's gonna be a bit of a hassle tomorrow. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Alrighty. There she is. All right, you guys, our first 220 um, on camera location. Set a couple off camera when it was raining out. So, see here, there's a good trail going down through here. Funnel's real nice. Going down through there. It's also running right along the bridge. We'll see here what we can catch. I'm sure we'll probably catch a couple here. There are not too many because they'd rather go on the bridge more than anything, but we'll see. I always like going on that second notch. Okay. Take her on there. Put those down. Flip the safety off. And we need to do some some real good fencing in here because this is not fenced down at all it is leading up to it just not really after it so what to do so I like to grab these big old things of grass to go through there does not affect the power of the 220 at all so yeah we're gonna do that. Maybe stick some right there. That way it's nice and funneled for them Rickies to go down through. Right through there. Alrighty. I'm gonna see. Alrighty guys. We're gonna be setting our raccoon corn set down here. Um, uh, I just noticed something. So along with all the raccoon tracks, there's a nice all coyote print right there They're running down through here running right along through here there's a lot of otters down here too but we're not setting for those right now um unfortunately just found out you cannot use fish stick sets in the river so and i've never set one in the river so i'm uh yeah I'm a different spot down in there nice and tight. Alrighty. Uh, put this corn out like right here. Have this one sticking up a little bit further. Uh, got some smaller traps but it'll do the job. Yeah, of 
caught many raccoons with these little traps, so. We'll see. Set that one down. Just right there. And to set this one down on the other side. Then we got some salmon oil for uh, muskrats. I just used some uh, muskrat lure, but um, raccoons, we throw some salmon oil on top. And that's the finished product. So, see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, another coyote location. Pretty dominant Ricky trail here, but I mean as you can see, these got these things are like pushed out. So something big running through it. No deer tracks on it, so might as well set it. Um gonna have to change uh batteries here pretty soon, but Go. Setting this one here extra high because of the raccoons. That should be good. Right there. Ready on the next one. So you going one deep in the one shallow then? Oh, yeah. So we found a hole up in here off this bank. Um, that is too deep right here. Are you able to walk across, Kong? Um, yeah. So right here, you can see that 110 kind of in there. It's a little mink hole. Um, you can see how it's all scratched up right here. And they are using it a lot. So do a 110 up there and yeah. It's. Is it blinking? Yes. It's Have no need to fight tonight, tonight. Last name ever, first name greatest.